just off the east bank of the Cumberland River and across the water from the Tennessee State Capitol building, there's a look at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Houston Texans and the Tennessee Titans. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. Takes this about five yards deep, and no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. They go play fake. Mahomes. He's got Denzel Mims, the rookie from Baylor. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A huge play there right off the bat. 46 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Mahomes and he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Out of bounds at the Facing a second and two after that eight last catch. Good for eight yards. Brings up second and two. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to have a third down. Now it's Mahomes again, able to connect with Mims. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. It's a gain of six. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. First and 10 at the 19. Mahomes to throw once more. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run it and try to keep the defense honest. You may also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They'll try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards. Brings up third down. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. Year trusty veteran able to knock it through well, after marching down the field, only getting three there. Kind of feels like a win for the defense, and it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. 
So if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. quarter throwing on first down is Minshew oh, hit as he throws there incomplete In pressure and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward and that time they were able to get in there and influence the throw remember quarterbacks got to get rid of it they don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. First and ten at the 33-yard line. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. 20, Tony Pollard, the ball carrier. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. From the 35 on second down, Minshew. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Throwing deep for Galladay. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback. He expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you can see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. They'll contain him to just four, second down at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. incomplete but if he was hit a fraction sooner it may have been a fumble as a defensive back you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away Minshew throwing on third down that's going to be caught by Kirk and they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. Offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Again, Minshew looking to throw. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. The drive will begin with a run by Edward Jalaire. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, 
just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Throwing on second down. Mahomes throwing deep for Galladay. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. Mahomes. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The Titans take over first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. The ball carrier. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. Here's second and five now from the 37. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second and five now. Minshew. He's got his tight end, Jake Butt. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot him at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. First and ten at the 44-yard line. gun is Minshew escaping the pressure right on the run he'll let this go deep right side and a double coverage and it's intercepted A.J. Boye with a pick a young quarterback Charles rolling to his right they know he's right handed but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket I think so but you have to remember with young quarterbacks it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Now a pass hauled in downfield. He's at the 40, 20, 10, touchdown, Houston. Mahomes pass. Denzel Mims, 94 yards. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10-zip as they come up first and 10. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him Gardner and able to bring him to the ground. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. So after the sack here, second and 14. Another try after the first down sack. Minshew. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive. That threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This is taken around the 12. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Carl Nassib credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of ten. Twice as 
it's difficult now after the sack it's second and 20. another try after the first down sack mahomes and for the third time here in this half it's intercepted mahomes picked off at the 30. and that's not the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone again another great read defensively and you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back they'll go with pollard here on first down a short gain here maybe a yard to the 29. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. On second down, it's Pollard. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. He was brought down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Looking to throw it. Minshew going for it all. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Tony Pollard with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Titans have made this a one-score game. It is good. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. That good for 19 and a first down. Run for Pollard. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the Texans' 13-yard line. Now Minshew. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll lead here to a third down. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The 
Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. He'll find Clyde Edwards Alaire. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Complete. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. It's a gain of 10. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That to his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles where he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down, Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Number 25. Clyde Edwards Alaire. His second touchdown on the season. And the Texans have taken the lead. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Makes the score Texans 17. Titans 10. Steven Goskowski set to kick off. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more? Minshew going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Eli Apple. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. For the extra point. So that's now three first-half interceptions, and that last one even costlier as it's returned for six points. So as a quarterback, how do you regain your focus? <laughs> well, QB 101 says you never show them that you're sweating. Still act like you're the guy that you've thrown six touchdown passes, not three interceptions. But he's human. He's got to face up to his teammates. He's got to own up to that, see if he can brace up, and also not look over his shoulder and see his backup starting to warm up. It's going to be a tough one for him. Over first and ten. At their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Minshew sets to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Off play action, it's Minshew. Open man is Kirk, complete. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. Four yards As they stop the it with 19 up. seconds to go in half number one. At their 48-yard line. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. They'll go play action here with Minshew. 
Flushed out right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. By T.J. Watt. He's taken out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. It's caught inside the 25. This is too easy right Touchdown, here. Touchdown, Titans. Christian Kirk in the final seconds of the first half. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Shot before the half from Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They'll run on first down. Pollard. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. Now a throw here to his running back. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Six-yard line. Here's Minshew. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. Minshew. Call it a three-yard gain, and they're going to face a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And able to find Kirk complete. 
And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. It'll be Minshew again. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. A loss of two brings up third down and six. They'll set up a throw. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Fielded in the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down, but now they had a... It got his man complete. Let's get that swagger, y'all. Let's get that swagger. Touchdown, Houston. Denzel Mims, an even 90 Houston. yards, Steven and the Josh Texans Kowski will add on to their lead. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't good. slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Take nothing left, baby. Take nothing left. at the 24. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the Even opposite Goskowski direction. Goskowski Extra point the try for ball. Goskowski. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Texans 37. Titans 20. Steven Goskowski. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in about four yards deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And fresh off the pick six, 
They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Leonard Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player... Disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big time guy you have to block. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Now Minshew on first and 10. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. They'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second and eight at the 38-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Minshew going to throw right side here. Complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. 10 at the well, one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And now here is another interception. A.J. Boye with a pick. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Intercepted by the Texans. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. Back now in Nashville. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration, the body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the gun, Minshew to throw. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he will have a Titans first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Again, Minshew looking to throw. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A very solid gain of 27. On first down, Pollard. And here he'll get it down to the 7. It's a 6-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it 2nd and 4. 7-yard line. It's a pickup of 6. Brings up 2nd and Now back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And it's caught. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up as he's out of bounds at the two. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll try to run this one in. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. And his good. kick is right through. Makes the score Texans 37, Titans 27. So at the 
lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Texans take over first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game. The interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, in that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. First down. Mahomes now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First down, Houston. Play action, it's Mahomes. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. And it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They go play action, now Mahomes. And that's incomplete. Mahomes pass. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's third. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Mahomes pass. Picked off at the 28. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sideline, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And now here is another interception. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off near the 44, and his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Smith catches left side. Three yards the game there, second down. To Herb Smith. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Out of the gun is Minshew. 
And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose it down on the grounding call. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. throw caught left side and he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stops made at the Texans 22 yard line it's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two minute warning he's going to flip one out here to his running back and he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10 and that'll take us to the two minute warning that'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10 point deficit First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle the tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he was hit as he threw it there and it forces it incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. complete and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds the defense shaking their heads not aggressive enough and they allow him to convert a third and 18 back to throw Mahomes flushed out right He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting Number this one across the 40. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I didn't like was the final decision to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. Instead, they give the defense an extra timeout. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. It's nothing but pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. To throw is Mahomes. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Got 
that you add up last week and this week now, that's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe him get out of it and make plays for them to win a game. Well, they said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. First and ten at the 18-yard line. He'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Complete to give him 9 there on the first down completion. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and 1. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. First and goal at the four-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll go play action here with Minshew. He'll buy some time right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Had to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. to throw and it's caught it's a touchdown so they rally here in the final minute and they're an extra point away from tying this game and while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown they're still down one that extra point is not a gimme don't forget the extra point it's up and good and we are tied here in the fourth quarter so here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Takeover first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? And this is going to be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. Mahomes pass. Intercepted. The Titans take over first and 10 at the 28 So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. 45-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I'm trying to figure out how they remain so calm in these situations and then go out and execute because I would be shaking like a leaf, but I wasn't the one who had to make that kick. They look calm, but I bet if you had a heart rate monitor on them, they'd be up in the 300s right now. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. One final try for Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Goskowski on for the field goal. A 36-yard attempt. 
Now flags come in before the kick. Clearly there was contact. Who was at fault? So it was the defense that jumped, and that'll move them five yards closer. I wonder how they did it. Well, they twitched a little bit up front. You know, a little summer head movement that the officials didn't detect, but they got it done. Now they're five yards closer for their field goal attempt. And we have free football over time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball that gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Their own Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. The situation is simple. It is sudden death from here on out. We had two stops defensively. The next score, whatever it is, wins this game. I can't wait to see how the defense decides to play this because knowing that the next point you give up lose the game for you, I expect them to be more aggressive and not just play a normal situational defense, but go after them, attack them a little bit because otherwise the offense is trying to find their way to get downfield and kick a field goal. Don't sit back and wait for them to make their plays. I think the defense needs to go after them. Charles Davis says maybe they go aggressive. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, Titans gain of 12. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Three-yard pickup. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. So third down coming up. And Charles, I guess the question for me, where does four down territory begin possibly? I guess for me it begins if you have fourth and five or less. Because you've got to understand your team and know what your play calls are. What do you have that you think you're confident that you can pick up that type of yardage? It might be fourth and three for some teams. But I think anything under fourth and five, they'll think about going for it. They'll run on first down. Pollard. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That's another Titans first down. They'll run with Pollard down to the 25. Pollard, the ball carrier. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. One-yard gain brings up second and nine. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Minshew throwing on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And his kick here is good. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy. And they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. The field goal would push it to sudden death. We just saw the field goal on the other end, but I don't think they are thinking field goal. At least not to start this drive, they're not thinking field goal. Not at all, because your point is well taken. Yeah, kick the field goal, you push it to sudden death, but you're also kicking off and giving the other team the ball with a chance to kick a field goal and beat you. Get the touchdown, finish the game off. That has 
to be the mindset. Being chased out left. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They wanted to avoid the dreaded fourth down and having to get a conversion or it being the final play. They picked it up, though, on third. I love how you described that because we've been in those situations and seen it. If you get the fourth down, especially in overtime, things get a little shakier, don't they? The hands get shaky, right? The throw, if you're going to throw the ball, being able to run it, all of that coming down to one big play. Very nice of them and nice for them to pick it up on third. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes eluding the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll be out of bounds Number after getting this one across the 40. The He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down third situation. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime.
It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with the Chicago Bears. Young Way Koo to kick off for Atlanta. Two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Forced out to... And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. They just gave up a sack there. And if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are. And I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist. Because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. That's complete to Moody. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. 21-yard line. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. So in the Bear territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Oh, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Eddie Jackson picks it, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. They'll take over. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. The ball carrier. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a toss running left, Hunt. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. They've taken care of that early. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They 
still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Nothing open downfield. He keeps Jackson it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, Charles, in the past, the a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. I well, think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> but I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every day. And that motor. His first NFL sack. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson going to throw deep for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. The rookie was trying to push him downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field. Certainly not what they wanted put it mildly that is so frustrating because and he'll go down the bears get there for the sack credit the sack to the always disruptive olivier vernon well they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively pressure coming off that right side from the dn and that's the blind side of most quarterbacks if you're right-handed that's the side you don't see quite as well and that's why you rely on your left tackle maybe your highest paid offensive lineman to take care of you in this situation that didn't happen After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack. Ryan. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Intended for Julio Jones. Incomplete. It's now third and 19. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. It's Ryan. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Two seconds to go. First quarter. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Look at this. And he takes this one in Kareem for a Bears a touchdown. touchdown. Kareem Hunt, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Bears have taken the early lead. And he's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. And this carries into the end zone. Running, man. And he is out of bounds here on the return. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball. We'll try and get things settled down a little bit. At the From the 27, Ryan steps away to his left. He'll run it. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they do finally get him at the 12. A big time play there for the Falcons. 61 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's Gurley. And they'll lose 
huge yardage here. They go backward to the 13-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On second and 11 now. Ryan escaping the pressure right. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And this is going to get out of bounds, so they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the shotgun, Ryan. This will be caught at about the six. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And we'll see Young Way Koo now Young for the Falcons. For the From the left hash, a chip a shot here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yes. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. On the return, the Bears take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. First and ten, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From the gun, Jackson. And he completes it to Hunt. And he's got some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Complete to Kareem Hunt. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Flush to his right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looking like nobody open. Now second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. No gain on the play. Brings up third down. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Toss it to Hunt. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, as the defense rallies quickly after the nice move. At the 32 yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Second and eight. Throwing is Jackson. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. 
Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Oh, my God, bro. I was moaning. I was moaning, bro. And my controller was muted. I feel, I feel really gay right now. No! Go come in! Bro, you fuck Alright, um, what time's the Rocket League tourney? Damn. Okay, I I I might be able to play. I might be able to play. Why? What time is that? It's at nine, but I am in the smouting game. Nico, we could play later, bro. I'm sorry for talking to you like Brian Brian. That was kinda aggressive, but um Brian, we could play later. Like I'll fuck you up, Brian. Yeah, and I fucked you up, Brian. If anything, you guys want to play competitive? I know, Daddy. I just told you. Oh, you guys probably didn't hear me. I'm in a Madden game. And it's a league game, and I can't, so I can't leave it. So I'll try to get there. It's going to be the second half already, so I, I'm pretty sure I'll make it, like, dead-ass, like, a, to a minute before. I do. No. Oh, pick, pick. No. Gay. Gay. So gay. Mmm. Cinnabon smacking. Okay, Dick, why the fuck you always gotta turn everything gay? That's a pick. I'm gonna start running the ball up so that way time goes by fast. Okay, daddy. You know what I've been doing recently? So that way my brother can stop like fucking smacking me? Every time he smacks me, I call him daddy. Ask me how many times he smacked me. I mean, for some, for some reason, he started smacking me more, but. What? I can touch your funny bone, Daddy. Alright, 8.40, start of the second quarter. I, f I really feel like I can finish this game before. Dude, I was playing with Caesar yesterday. Oh my god, bro. Gave me um, Vietnam flashbacks. Yeah. Because I, I was playing with him, so Platt. I was getting better, bro. I, I finally... Dude. I fucking am aerial. I, I can I can aerial like a little bit better now. Okay, Dick, chill, bro. Actually, you and Desmond are really good. I feel like I'm a good like addition. I feel like. All right, Dick. Oh, we we low key did pretty. We did pretty good when with Matt, huh? No, we didn't actually. Never mind. Never mind.
Nah, Damien. Nah, bro. Come on. I mean, that could just be Caesar as well. No way, bro. No way Todd Gurley has an arm like that, bro. This game fucking sucks. Nah, bro, you're not tripping. They both suck. Bro, this nigga, this nigga fucking Todd Gurley just threw fucking 50 yards, bro. He thinks he's better than what he actually is. Like, where's the mine? Where's the mine? Oh my god, okay, okay, I'm for sure, I'm for sure gonna make, I'm for sure gonna make the tourney. This guy I'm playing, this guy I'm playing, he texted me, he's like, he let me score, cause he scored, right? He's like, hey bro, I'm tanking. So he's like, so I have to lose. So I'm like, oh, can we two cock then so I can go play the game? He's like, yeah, for sure. That he just wants to lose, he wants a high draft pick so he can draft studs. Nigga, chew the fucking clock, what the fuck, man? Bro, why don't you just... Desmond, guess what this nigga's doing, bro? Instead of just using the two clock option, bro, he's just waiting till the clock goes all the way down. Not fucking helping my situation, bro. Oh my god, daddy. He's like, nah, nigga, we ain't not true, no clock. Bitch. Now they'll throw it. Ryan. Looking for his 
Steam out. Damn, nigga, just hike the ball, bro. I don't got time. I'm gonna tell this nigga to concede. Uh, like, if it's 8:55 and we still haven't done it, I'm gonna tell, just tell this nigga to concede. I think so. <laughs> I did, bro. Okay, I should be good. I should be good. Sorry, five minutes in the fourth. So you just watched us to see who you bet on, bro? No, I was talking to my brother because he always watches videos. He always watches videos about um betting. Okay, two minutes, 30 seconds, yes, we should be straight. <laughs> like I said,
I'm about to, I'm about to. Oh, 14 seconds, game's over. I'm going. What do you mean? All the artists. Damn. Oh shit, I've been streaming this whole time.